Hey everyone, I'm Lala Bad. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Raul a loaded Mexican potato. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make a pico de gallo. If you don't know how to do that, this is how you do it. Pico de gallo this is a Mexican condiment and it's so good and it's so simple. All you need is three Roma tomatoes, three serranos, you can use jalapeno if you prefer. Dice them up. For the serranos, if you want a less spicy pico, then definitely devein and de-seed. Chop up and dice up an onion, about a quarter of a large onion, and then add one whole lime, the juice of one whole lime. Add salt and pepper for taste. Add cilantro, about a quarter cup of cilantro. If you don't like the flavor of cilantro, then add Italian parsley. Chop it up, stir it into the pico. Um, set in the fridge for up to two hours. Make sure you cover it, and there you go. Easiest, easiest recipe, pico de gallo. Get yourself some russet potatoes. I'm gonna do a two. Um, I'm gonna be making something totally different for me. Um, so this is all for Rue. My husband loves to eat the skin, so I gotta make sure they're super clean. So first things first, wash your potatoes. Since my husband loves to eat the skin, you pat them dry. I individually wrap the potatoes with foil paper. I drizzle olive oil and then I coat it with sea salt. Sprinkle on the whole potato. And then I roll her up. Just like that. Do that with the other potato. Place in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna have some seafood. This is the sa sa salmon center cut, Atlantic fresh. Um, I'm gonna cut this in half and then stuff it. And the stuffing's so simple, yet so delicious. And you're getting two dinners in one today. Now I had purchased this spinach dip and um, I broke my tooth and I couldn't eat it because I um the pita chi chips that I eat it with are too hard. So I was I'm just like I'm I'll staying away from crunchy hard food. So I got some spinach dip. I'm gonna use about a half a cup, maybe. Maybe half a cup. Maybe a full cup. I guess that's, that would be like a let me do a little bit more. That that that's a full cup right there. All right, I got this crab. This is Chicken of the Sea Premium Crab Real Crab Meat. This is an eight ounce container. Um, I'm sure you can use the imitation crab or the canned crab. I'm gonna add that to the, uh, the spinach dip. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard to this. All right, that Dijon mustard is done. Taste it and see what else you wanna add. Some slap your mama seasoning. And I'm going to put in some paprika. Do y'all hear Luna? She's cussing out Raul because she's hungry. She's telling him off today. 
She rules him. She does, right? No, a lot of times. <laughs> Cut her in half. Okay. And then cut a hole on the side with a little pocket. Okay, do the other one. In your pan with a little olive oil on the bottom so the bottom can get crispy. We will season the bottom. I'm going to use this Chef Morito fish seasoning. That's all I'm going to use for the bottom. Now for the top, I'm going to use this seasoning. It's kind of salty, so be careful. And I'm going to use some Tony Chechere's Creole seasoning. I'm gonna use some slap your mama. I got the crab and spinach dip and I'm going to stuff the salmon. And I'm gonna overstuff it because I have a lot of mixture here. Place in an oven at 375 uncovered for 30 to 35 minutes. We're going to get some frozen corn. Canned corn, if that's what you prefer, is fine. I have here some bacon drippings, just to give it some flavor. You can season it with lemon pepper. And tahin. A little bit more tahin. So I'm going to let this cook while we start on the other ingredients. In a fresh pan, I'm going to cook up some Mexican chorizo. I have this brand here. This is a Kilo Baza chorizo, Mexican sausage. And uh, this is actually made here in Texas. And it's uh, what we prefer. It's really, really good. Even um, cooked whole with a side of potatoes and beans and tortillas. It's so good. I've made that the other day for him. I'll show you a picture here. And, um, yeah. So grab you a piece of chorizo. I think I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two pieces. And I'm going to open them up and cook the insides. Now, I know you can load... Potato, um, potatoes with anything that your little heart desires. Um, here are some ideas. You can do a barbecue pot uh, potato, you know, some um, pulled pork, coleslaw, baked beans. You can even do a spaghetti one. Marinara. Mmm. With some mozzarella meatballs. Ooh. Look at me coming up with some ideas on the fly. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Alright, so we're going to put this in the back. Let it cook. Continue to cook that. We're going to have three pans. We got three pans going today, honey. All right. Now, 
Now to this, we're going to add some canola oil. Um, this is a, like a quarter cup of a large onion. I picked up some of this. This is uh, meat for tacos at the, from the Mexican market. That's what it's called, for real. Meat for tacos. Carne para tacos. And it was $2.11. It it's like a um, half a pound of beef, basically. Now, you can use ground beef. You can use pork, chicken, uh, whatever your heart desires in this Um, I even gave him the option, he, he could either get some al pastor or some steak. He wanted steak, so that's what we got. Pepper, some chef morito, steak and meat seasoning. Garlic powder. And just fry this up with the burner off you're gonna add to this a little bit of butter I got like a teaspoon there like two hefty tablespoons of mayonnaise some grated Parmesan about a hefty tablespoon Mix it together. Remember it has a tahine in there. You want to add more. You can. Alright. Alright. Just fill her up. So you don't have to put butter because this does have a lot of mayonnaise in it. So you got your corn, the chorizo, you got steak. You got your sour cream, your pico de gallo, your queso fresco, or this is bucket cheese, same thing, right, babe? Yep, it's the same thing, babe. There you go. That's a Mexican loaded potato. Now, I do have sides for him. <laughs> Let me go fill up his plate. So, here is the Mexican loaded pot baked potato with uh, roasted Parmesan broccoli and mac and cheese. Go ahead. Try with a spoon. You just dig like a... Is it good? Really can, good. Can you taste the corn mm -hmm. and the chorizo and yep. the steak? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and taste it. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let me taste my my salmon, my crab stuffed salmon. It's good. Good. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. We love you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.